going to do a little bit of a demonstration and show you how to clean um, seed once you've harvested it and how to store it. The first step is to basically macerate the fruit and break it up and ex get the seed to come out from the inside of the flesh. And the process I'm going to show you right now is called decanting and we're going to essentially remove all the skins and whatever leftover flesh. So once you've got it like pretty well mashed up, fill this up with water. And then right away while the water's still turbulent, turbulent, we're gonna start pouring off that top layer. And you see a lot of seed in there and it looks like we're probably losing a lot of seed, but it's most likely that most of that stuff that's floating to the top are what we call duds or blanks. So they're seeds that don't have a full embryo on the inside. And the good stuff is usually gonna stay on the bottom. So we'll do this a bunch of times. This is like the only way to sexually reproduce a plant. So when we grow all these sea berry seeds, the, the offspring are gonna be entirely different from the parent plants. The next part in this process is storing the seed. So stratification is exposing the seed to a certain period of cold temperatures, which mimics sort of the dormancy that they naturally go through um, over the winter. With seed like this that ripens this time of year, late summer, you can direct plant it. So we can make a seed bed in the ground plant this stuff right now, and most likely it's gonna germinate next season. Alternatively, you can take a little bit of a more like controlled measure and you can stratify it in the refrigerator. Put the material in a um, plastic bag with some kind of moist medium that would sort of mimic the conditions you would, you would find like in the soil. We'll store it in the refrigerator in cool, moist conditions for anywhere from two to four months. And then by that time, the seed will be ready to germinate. Ideally, you'd use like a sterile medium to put in here, like a peat or something that doesn't, that essentially doesn't have any life in it. The reason being, we don't, we don't want any biology to start rotting any of this material. So now we're left with this mixture. It's still mostly seed, but it just the seed has something to to maintain moisture and so we would then store this in the refrigerator and I would put a date on here. And so this is the basic process of cleaning and um, storing the seed away for stratification. Come spring, we would get this material out of the refrigerator and plant it out in like nursery rows or in little flats. All this material, it would be smart to, to set this out in an area where there's some bare soil, maybe rake it in a little bit and keep an eye on it. I'm sure some of this will sprout.